Uh, this technique evolved from, from some work in the U.S. Uh, and it became a standard technique by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. And the reason they liked it is because it could be used by most of their staff with minimal training and it could be used as an outreach product for community groups because it relied on course level taxonomy and for the most part did not require microscopes um, because coarse mesh was used and the identification could be done in the field and the bugs released back into the stream and as a result it provided fairly reliable indications whether or not a stream was impaired or not um, through the absence of sensitive taxonomy. So, 10 particles. Particle one, 65 millimeters. Five. You'd use the stationary technique um, in any surveys where you are likely doing a, a variety of methodologies and you're interested in knowing whether or not uh, there is a water quality impairment or there, there's a likelihood of a water quality impairment at a stream. Okay, this one's done. What's unique about the stationary technique is it can be fairly easily applied by community groups um, because it's low cost. It can be done with uh, two hockey sticks and some window screen or it can be done with uh, more with finer mess information and then at that time you generally require a microscope to identify some of the benthos.